before we get the game started, we do want to recognize a few members of our faculty and staff at Northwestern State that have made an impact on our basketball programs. First, from the College of Business and Technology, Dr. Sinja Chin, Ms. Kim Gibson, and Ms. Tina Bridges. From the Department of Arts and Sciences, Dean Constantaris, Millard Mangrum, Tiffany Summerlin, and Melissa Turlington. And from the Glasby College of Education and Human Development, Ms. Kerrigan Kane, Ms. Bessie Jones, Dr. Katrina Jordan, and Ms. Cindy Davis. Thank you to all of our faculty and staff that are in attendance today that have made an impact on all of our athletic programs. Thank you for your dedication to Northwestern State University. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we ask that you please rise for today's invocation offered by Josh Bolton and remain standing to honor America with the playing of our national anthem by the best sounding band in the land, the Spirit of Northwestern Purple Haze Pep Band. Please bow your heads with me. Dear Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for letting us come here and enjoy the game of basketball. I pray that there will be no injuries today, God, and I pray that uh, these ladies and men will play their best, and I pray that everything today will be to glorify you. It's in your son Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Welcome to Prather Coliseum on the beautiful campus of the Northwestern State University. And now let's get ready for today's game by meeting our starting lineups. First for our visitors from Conway. At guard, a 5'7 sophomore from Tulsa, Oklahoma, number four, Taylor Sells. At guard, a 5'6 sophomore from Greenwood, Arkansas, number five, Manny Goodner. At center, a 6'1", senior from Jackson, Mississippi, number 20, Kiara Jordan. At guard, a 5'6", senior from Bel Air, Texas, number 21, Angel Williams. And at forward, a 6'0", senior from Columbus, Mississippi, number 23, Taylor Baudouin. Head coach of the Sugar Bears is Sandra Rushing, assisted by Greg Long, Shamika Thomas, and Chelsea Rowe. All right, Demon fans, on your feet! And welcome today's Northwestern State Starters. At guard, a 5'4 sophomore from Harlington, Texas. Number one, Gabby Bell. At guard, a 5'8 freshman from Coppell, Texas. Number three, Jada Freeman. At forward, a six-foot freshman from Leak City, Texas. Number four, Lacey Savage. At forward, a six-foot sophomore from Carrollton, Texas. Number 13, Victoria Miller. And at forward, a six-one junior from Richfield, Minnesota. Number 20, Leah Barnes. Head coach for the Demons is Jordan Dupuis, assisted by Deneen Parker, Aaron Crane, and Olivia Grayson. The 
Lady Demons are coached by Jordan Dupuy in his second season at the helm of the Lady Demons. He is 19 and 30 overall. But you look at the starting lineup and you look what is available to Jordan Dupuy, and it is nothing but youngsters and, and or newcomers. Nautica Grant, leading scorer right now for the Lady Demons, junior transfer. Gabby Bell's a sophomore. Jada Freeman's a freshman. Lacey Savage is a freshman. Janae Wheeler's a freshman. Victoria Miller, Jasmine Johnson, Jocelyn Scott, all sophomores. Leah Barnes, junior transfer. Libba Gillum is the... Libby Gillum and Tia Youngblood really are the lone long-term players for NSU and, of course, Cheyenne Brown as well. But a lot of bodies on the bench for head coach Jordan Dupuy. The Lady Demons are out in their white-on-white -white home unis. Northwestern State and number on the front, purple trimmed in orange. UCA in the very difficult-to-read black jerseys with purple numbers and very faint gray outline. Those are terrible jerseys. NSU will win the tip. It'll be saved in bounds to Gabby Bell, who will run the point. Bell works it right wing to Leah Barnes. Barnes back up top, Jada Freeman. Freeman holds, gives it right wing to Bell. Bell looking inside, now fires to the corner and not ready for it was Lacey Savage. She was not even looking at Gabby Bell, and uh, the Lady Demons turned it over on their first possession. Just an unforced error there by the Lady Demons as Lacey Savage was standing in the corner, not looking at the ball, which was about six feet from her. Into the front court comes UCA. I tell you who it was, but uh, the, the hair is completely obscuring the number of Taylor Sells. They work the ball around right wing. Maddie Goodner back to Sells. Sells will pull it back out. They get it all the way around to Goodner, now into the corner. Seven to shoot. Airballed three from Bodwin, or excuse me, from Angel Williams. No, it was Bodwin who missed that three. And back the other way come the Lady Demons. Jada Freeman gives it up top. Gabby Bell. Bell holds. Now flips it. Leah Barnes all the way around right wing to Lacey Savage. Savage penetrates with the left hand. Takes it in. Tough shot. Scoop. No good. Defensive rebound pulled down by Kiara Jordan. Racing into the front court is Taylor Sells. She'll work to the right wing and hold it up. Up top. Oh, <laughs> Kiara Jordan was trying to throw the high-low over the top pass and just sort of flipped it to herself. UCA maintains possession. Off the top now for Bodwin into the left corner. Jab step fake for Angel Williams. Now she'll flip it on the baseline. Double team there. And the steal jump ball will end up ultimately being the call. Jordan Dupuy didn't like it, thought it was a straight steal. And Sandra Rushing is going to, uh, I think, make a point here and bring her entire, uh, entire fresh five off the bench. Camry Orr, 5'6", junior transfer from Little Rock, Arkansas to Central High School. Sam Houston in northeastern Oklahoma. A&M, Hannah Lange, 6'2", freshman from Hardin, Kentucky, out of Marshall County High School. Five to shoot for the Sugar Bears. They get it to Lange, gives it right corner. Two to shoot, and uh, they're not going to they, get that off in time. It was a bank three from Camry Orr, but it wasn't in time. McKaylin Hicks, six-foot freshman from El Dorado, Arkansas, is in the ballgame, as is Elaney Fisher, 5'9", junior from Baton Rouge out of University High School and Coffeyville Community College. So Sandra Rushing, oh, also Antonia Boisich is into the ballgame as well, 5'10", junior transfer from Croatia out of Jacksonville Junior College, and we're going to get a foul on a hand check just across half court on Camry Orr. Here says Sarah Fleming. Three officials for today's game, Darren McClure, John Fletcher, and Sarah Fleming. Lacey Savage will inbound from the left sideline, gets it out long to Gabby Bell, running the point. Bell averaging over five assists a ball game. That's third best in the Southland Conference. Ball on the right wing, Barnes, now in the hands of Freeman. She'll penetrate, pull up from just inside the free throw line and miss it badly off the left side. Rebound pulled down by the Sugar Bears. They'll race into the front court in the hands of Elaney Fisher. Fisher will penetrate, give it over to the left side. Tough shot goes off the bottom of the backboard. And no good for McKaylin Hicks. Driving down the left side is Bell. She puts it up, gets a friendly roll, and it goes. Lady Demons lead 2 to nothing. We are 2.15 into the first quarter of play. I'm going to have to uh, remind myself that it's quarters. And not have. It's been a while since I called Lady Demon basketball. Shot from the left side is a block and a foul on Gabby Bell. Camry Orr took the left elbow jumper. And Gabby Bell fouled her. So that's the first foul. 
called against the Lady Demons, and that will send Camry Orr to the free throw line. She is an 81% free throw shooter. So you would expect these to go down. First one is good for Orr. Orr a transfer. Started uh, from Central High School in Little Rock, went to Sam Houston. Played well there for Sam Houston, then didn't like it. Transferred out to Northeast Oklahoma A&M and then came back to Arkansas to play for the Sugar Bears. Game tied at two after Orr makes both of her free throws. Ball out on the left wing in the hands of Victoria Miller. Miller dribbles it back, looking right, nowhere to go, 13 to shoot. Hand off, Lacey Savage. Savage dribbles to the right wing, nine to shoot. Back out long, that's Jada Freeman, free throw line. Driving the right side into traffic and a blocking foul as Leah Barnes went down the right side of the lane and drew the blocking foul. Foul is called on Hannah Lange. So Sandra Rushing pulled her entire starting five. It's something Jordan Dupuy talked about that he perhaps should have done against UNO in the Lady Demons last game. He said the second unit had been beating the first group for most of practice that week. He said he, uh, if he, if he was, he said that was on me. I should have probably gone ahead and put the second unit in. First free throw is no good for Leah Barnes. Barnes, 57% free throw shooter, coming off of a 14-point performance at UNO. Second free throw, front iron backboard and out. And Lange clears the rebound for UCA in the hands of Camry Orr. She'll race into the front court, left side. Feed it to the right elbow, back out right wing. Drive from there, all the way back up top to Orr again. Looking for the screen and roll on the left wing. Orr drives left baseline, scoops it up underneath and good. Camry Orr's got four. She has all the points for UCA so far. And the Sugar Bears have their first lead of the ball game. 6.40 left to go, first quarter of play. Ball on the left wing, Victoria Miller, top of the key, Leah Barnes. Barnes holding, now right wing to Gabby Bell, tapped away, but she gets it back. 13 to shoot. Bell. Right wing, Lacey Savage. Savage, top of the key, Miller. She'll take it to the right elbow, pull that jumper, no good. Rebound pulled down by UCA. Sugar Bears looking to run. Now pulled it back out. Or top of the key, Hicks. Hicks, right wing. Alani Fisher. Fisher holds, wants to go inside and can't. Now will dribble to the free throw line after taking an awkward jab step. Now down all the way down the left side of the lane. And a blocking foul will be called underneath on the Lady Demons. Foul called on Leah Barnes. That's her first, and that'll be free throws for UCA. As a team, this UCA squad, 69% from the free throw line. That's sixth best in the Southland Conference. And Elaney Fisher will go to the stripe. Fisher has played in only seven games so far this year and misses the first free throw. She's only scored four points the entire season. Playing in just her eighth game, she's only attempted seven shots. Misses both free throws. She is now 0 for 4 from the charity stripe. And then a foul called after UCA trying to get the steal. McKaylin Hicks will pick up the foul as NSU cleared the rebound. And McKaylin Hicks committed the foul. Don't forget, chili cook-off between games as Gabby Bell brings into the front court. Fits at right corner. Back to Bell, top of the key. Victoria Miller, nice high-low pass inside to Leah Barnes, and Barnes is fouled. McKaylin Hicks will pick up her second personal. Really nice pass inside to find Leah Barnes, the junior transfer. Barnes playing with a brace on her left knee. Leah Barnes has played in 16 of the team's 19 games coming in. She's missed a couple of free throws, now makes that one with a generous roll. 5.48 left to go, first quarter of action. Got to say, having watched a, a modicum of women's basketball, don't really like the quarter system. I know the, there was talk that the men might follow and use the quarters as well, but I don't like it. I, I kind of like halves. I don't know. Maybe I'm a purist. Second free throw on the way. That one back iron straight up in the air and comes off the front iron no good. Camry Orr clears the rebound and looks to run. Takes it to the left wing. Now skips it all the way to the right wing, down on the baseline, knocked away nicely by Victoria Miller and out of bounds. 5.38 left to go, first half of, uh, first quarter of play. 
Lady Demons trail four to three. Demons and Bears will follow this game. That should be an interesting matchup. UCA a high, high scoring squad. Meanwhile, this Sugar Bears team is not. They get the ball down on the baseline and a traveling violation called underneath on Hannah Lange. And that will bring back in leading scorer Taylor Bodwin. She will check back into the ball game. Baudouin, a very nice South Louisiana Cajun name. Spelled Baudouin, B-A-E-A-U-D-O-I-N, but you don't pronounce the N, it's Baudouin. Lady Demons have the basketball, right wing. Kara Jordan, top of the key, all the way around left wing to Gabby Bell. Bell looks inside, gets it inside to Barnes. She spins into traffic, loses it, picked up by the Sugar Bears. Down the right side of the lane, it goes to Baudouin, and she's fouled hard. And she'll go to the line to shoot a pair. Foul called on Lacey Savage. So the Lady Demons so far have not substituted in the first five minutes. Meanwhile, Sandra Rushing and UCA has put in a whole new five. She didn't think her starting five came out playing inspired basketball. And Baudouin, the leading scorer, makes her first, makes it five to three. Baudouin, a 72% free throw shooter, averaging 14 and a half points and nearly seven rebounds per ball game. And she will make both. Six to three, biggest lead for UCA so far is three points. A little full court pressure, a little token pressure, man to man for Camry Orr. Gabby Bell will break that, puts it back out left wing. Lacey Savage, top of the key, Jada Freeman, right wing. Leah Barnes tries to flip it inside and it's knocked away by Antonia Boisich, and we've got our under five media timeout. 4.51 left to go in the first quarter of play. Northwestern State trailing UCA 6-3. to three. We'll take a break, come back with more after this. You're listening to the Demon Sports Network. For a chance to sit in the best seat in the house, sponsored by Ivan Smith Furniture. Again, text Demons to 40213. If you receive the message, come down to the score table to claim your prize. And in case you missed it, here's how to win the Amazon Echo, sponsored by CPTEL. Post a selfie of you and your friends at the Pac Prather game using the hashtag Pac Prather and tag at NSU Demons for a chance to win the Amazon Echo. from the right baseline. Heading towards the north side of Prather Coliseum or right to left on your radio dial. 13 to shoot as the Lady Demons have it in. Gabby Belt dribbling out long. Eight to shoot as she works to the right wing. Looking inside, five to shoot. She gives it to Nautica Grant who just checked in with three. Grant penetrates, skips it right corner and turns it over. Here come the Sugar Bears with it. Nautica Grant just checking in. Grant. 5'5 five, five junior transfer from Dallas, Texas out of Richardson High School and Tyler Junior College. She's the current leading scorer for the Lady Demons, averaging just over 11 points a ball game. They lob it inside, good pass. Baudouin misses it, but we're gonna have a blocking foul underneath. As the Lady Demons were trying to front and put a body behind Baudouin, and Leah Barnes will pick up her second personal. And she'll have to be replaced as uh, Taylor Baudouin will go to the line to shoot two. She's already been to the line twice and knocked down two. As a matter of fact, four of the six points for UCA so far have come from the charity strike. 
That one is good, makes it 7-3 UCA. Tia Youngblood is into the ball game, 5'10 senior from DeRitter, Louisiana, DeRitter High School. So Bodwin already with three points. Make it four as she knocks down all four of her free throws so far. And the Lady Demons trail by five, eight to three. Six of the first eight points have come from the charity strike for UCA. Jasmine Johnson in the ball game for the Lady Demons, 5'8 sophomore from West Monroe High School. Tia Youngblood gives it back out to Gabby Bell, 12 to shoot. Lady Demons just one of four to start. Bell, right wing on the dribble with six. She'll penetrate right side, flip it up off glass and good. Gabby Bell, nice drive. Makes it eight to five as she saw the C part. Ball at the top, Kiara Jordan, the transfer. I mean the senior, excuse me, goes off left wing to Bodwin, all the way back out to Camry Orr. And here's Sandra rushing, calling out for four. They lob it back side and that just goes out of bounds not touched, it was not a good pass as it was from the right wing all the way over the top to the left block. That's a tough pass in any league. And that just went out of bounds, so UCA turns it over for the third time. Lady Demons have also turned it over three times. Lady Demons are a very turnover prone team. They also force a lot. They turn it over nearly 20 times a game, but they force 23 turnovers a game. That's eighth best in the country. Tia Youngblood throws the Pass over the top from the right wing to the left block, and just like on the other end, it goes out of bounds for a turnover. <laughs> Jocelyn Scott will check in for the Lady Demons, 5'11 sophomore from McKinney, Texas, out of North High School. As uh, Sandra Rushing chatting with Antonia Boisich, the junior transfer from Croatia. Into the front court, Camry Orr lobs to the left elbow to Bodwan. She's looking inside, holding. About to get a five-second call. Now dribbles at the last minute. Gives it back to Orr. Orr dribbles to the left wing. Wants to skip it. Keeps her pivot foot. Now to Baudouin Long with eight to shoot. She'll drive, flip it right corner. Three on the way from there is good for Antonia Boisich. Makes it 11-5. to Boisich with her 21st three of the year. She is shooting nearly 39% from beyond the arc. Nice try from the left side. Lost, picked back up by Jasmine Johnson. Nowhere to go. Now flips it back out long to Gabby Bell. 12 to shoot. Bell works off the screen to the right wing. Looks inside to Nautica Grant. Grant has it knocked away with four to shoot. Grant thought she was fouled as she was curling down to the block and got hit hard. And uh, Jordan Dupuis out telling Darren McClure, watch the body she's displacing every time. Lady Demons with four to shoot, need to get it in. They throw it off the back of one of the UCA players. Then Bell, a turnaround three from the right side is no good, but that ball hit the rim. That ball absolutely hit the rim, and they're going to tee. And uh, John Fletcher almost teed up Jordan Dupuy, but that was that ball looked like it deflected off the rim off the backboard. It hit the backboard and then hit the rim and came down. And the Lady Demons had a clear rebound. Jordan Dupuis is going to call his squad over. They're going to call over both coaches. And uh, Darren McClure telling Sandra Rushing of UCA the ball hit the rim. And uh, Rushing complaining that there was not a technical on Jordan Dupuis, who came about uh, four or five feet out on the court to argue the call. And so the Lady Demons, who, by the way, if play had been allowed to, to continue, they likely would have had an easy layup underneath on the backside rebound. Instead, they're going to get the ball back with a fresh 30-second clock, trailing 11-5 to five after the three was made, and now they're going to check the monitor. Looked pretty clear the three. It was a wild turnaround three up against the shot clock buzzer that hit the backboard and then appeared to deflect off sort of the side and bottom of the rim straight down. One of the Lady Demons had actually collected the offensive rebound and was going to have an uncontested layup. So they're going to put 28 on the shot clock. 
And we are going to uh, get back to action. The Lady Demons will get to end down from the right baseline. 2.02 left to go, first quarter of play. The Lady Demons trailing 11 to 5. So the Lady Demons will line up two on either side of the lane. And Gabby Bell will inbound from the right baseline. No one on the ball. A lot of screening across. Now Bell will lob it in. Gets it in the hands of Jocelyn Scott. Back to Bell. Bell's going to run the point. She wants to call out the box set. So everyone goes to two, one to each elbow and one to each block. They get it right wing. Drive in from there and a hand check as Jasmine Johnson took it straight down the lane. Foul called on Maddie Goodner, and she'll pick up her first personal. That is team foul number five against UCA, so that'll be two free throws. The rules in, lady, uh, in, in ladies basketball a little bit different. Obviously quarters, two, four 10-minute quarters, and also two foul shots after five fouls in the quarter, and uh, no one and one. So the first free throw is good for Jasmine Johnson, her first point of the ball game. Johnson comes in. She is the second leading active scorer for the Lady Demons with both Cheyenne Brown and Libba Gillum out of action today. Jasmine Johnson, a 64% free throw shooter and averages nearly eight points a game. She knocks down both. Net barely stirred on either of them. Makes it 11 to seven. Minute 48 left to go, first quarter of action. Lady Demons are going to pressure a little bit here. They get it thrown ahead to Baudouin, and she holds, gives it back to Orr. So a little pressure there. It's what the Lady Demons would like to do. They just don't have the bodies to do it for 40 minutes. Baudouin all the way into the right corner. Drive with the left hand, takes it in. A tough scoop shot is good for Camry Orr. Orr has six of her team's 13. 13 to seven. Sugar Bears with the lead. Tia Youngblood at the top. Wanting to get it to Nautica Grant and throws it away. Grant was covered up by Taylor Sells. And uh, Youngblood was trying to throw it to Grant. Grant was cutting and just threw it right into the expensive seats down the left uh, sideline. Sugar Bears break the pressure. Baudouin fires it in the right corner. Another three on the way. That one's back iron. No good for Antonia Boisich. And into the front court comes Gabby Bell. Bell inside the Youngblood, who has Boisich on her back, turns, fires, good. Nice job, Kia Youngblood. Just pinned Boisich inside. Had her where she had no shot. Youngblood much bigger and stronger than Boisich and just took her to school inside. Easy drop, step, and shot. UCA breaks the pressure. Youngblood took a dive, trying to draw a charge on Baudouin, no call. Orr has it out long with 11 to shoot. 33 seconds left. They get it in the corner to Bodwin. Back out it goes. Orr will drive right baseline. Cut off, and we're going to have a charge call. Youngblood tried to take one earlier. She got it that time on Camry Orr. And Orr picks up her second personal. So decision time for Sandra Rushing with 26.6 seconds remaining. Her squad leads 13-9. Lady Demons can hold for the last shot. I would imagine they probably will. Gabby Bell's going to dribble out in the half court circle. One four low set or a flat set as it's called. Everyone lined up down across the baseline. Two in the corner, one on each block. Six to shoot. Bell works down the right side of the lane. Loses it, gets it back. Picks up her dribble with three. Tries to lob it inside and turns it over. If that was a shot, it was a bad shot. If it was a pass, it was a bad pass. Nevertheless, the Lady Demons only down four after one. NSU trailing 13 to nine after the first quarter of action. We'll take a break, come back with more after this. You are listening to the Demons Sports Network. We will announce the new winner of the Battle for the Paddle Chili Cook-Off at the halftime of the men's game.
Sport broadcast is brought to you by Mike and Kenny Knott's Salter Bus Lines and Kilpatrick Life. Through one quarter, Northwestern State down 13 to nine. Uh, most of the damage done for the Sugar Bears of UCA at the line. They are six of eight from the free throw line so far in the first quarter. That hit three of six from the field. Meanwhile, NSU is three of eight from the field for 37%. Lady Demons three of six from the free throw line. Uh, one major stat that sticks out, Demons, uh, Lady Demons have turned it over four times. Uh, excuse me, Lady Demons have turned it over five times. The Sugar Bears have turned it over four times, but UCA owns a seven nothing points off turnover advantage so far in the first half, or first quarter. Excuse me, it's gonna take me a bit to get used to the quarter thing, I apologize. Tia Youngblood, left wing. Jocelyn Scott will drive left baseline. Bodoan cuts her off, gets it back out to Nautica Grant. Grant looking inside, now into the corner for Scott. Scott will drive with the right hand, flip it into the right corner. Bell back to Grant, loose ball, seven to shoot. Grant has it right wing, top of the key. And out of the left wing, flips it inside to Youngblood, and Youngblood is fouled as she made a move on the baseline. Foul called on Kiara Jordan. That's Jordan's first. Excuse me, it was uh, Scott that was initiating all that action. As UCA will bring in Elaney Fisher. And NSU, fresh 30 second clock, will inbound from the left baseline. Gabby Bell gives it right corner. Long bit two from the right baseline is no good for Jocelyn Scott. And Kiara Jordan chases down the rebound in the hands of Taylor Sells. Sells, dribbling out long, gives it now fire inside high-low, and they're going to have a foul called underneath. Lady Demons are pretty much double-teaming Taylor Bodwin anytime she gets the ball, and Jasmine Johnson will pick up the personal. So both teams, one foul in the first 42 seconds of this second quarter. Ball in the right corner, drive from there to the right elbow, pull up from 10 is no good. Rebound pulled down by the Lady Demons off the miss by Elaney Fisher. Jocelyn Scott brings him to the front court, works with the right hand down the right side, spins, puts it up with the left hand, no good, back iron, rebound pulled down by Kiara Jordan. Fire to the left side, Taylor sells, sells, lobs it inside, knocked away, nice job by Jocelyn Scott. Knocking that one away from Taylor Baudouin on the low block. The Sugar Bears will inbound. Sugar Bears, one of my favorite nicknames for any university squad. The old uh, Arkansas Intercollegiate Conference in Division II in Arkansas has all the best nicknames. Sugar Bears, Golden Suns, Wonder Boys, Reddies, you name it. Ball on the right wing, they flip it inside to Bodwin. double teamed on the baseline, six to shoot. She just elevates, shoots, and misses it, goes in and out. Offensive rebound, Fisher fires it left baseline. Sells misses the short jumper. Another offensive rebound, this time by Kiara Jordan, and she is fouled. Foul called on Tia Youngblood. Youngblood picks up her first as Central Arkansas doing some work on the offensive glass. That's, didn't, they didn't have a single offensive rebound in the first quarter. They picked up two on that single possession. They get it in to the Kiara Jordan, who was part of the catalyst for those offensive rebounds. Flip it right wing to Fisher. Fisher back up top. Drive from the left side for Orr. Cut off at the elbow. Now goes inside, and that's going to be a lot of contact and a foul as they're trying to work it inside to Bodwin, and Tia Youngblood picks up her second foul. Well, Jordan Dupuy said on the pregame show that this, is, this was going to have to be the Lady Demons' most physical ball game if they were going to win. And so far, they have knocked Taylor Bodwan around. They lob it out to Bodwan. She gets it left wing to Orr. Pump fakes, drives left side. Pull up with the right hand is back iron and good for Camry Orr. She's got eight. 15-9. Sugar Bears with the lead as Gabby Bell gets past Taylor Sells. Top of the key, Jocelyn Scott. Left side, Jasmine Johnson gets a screen. Works to the elbow, now down the right side of the lane, and she travels. Slid the pivot foot as she was trying to stop and pull up at the mid post. Victoria Miller will check back in. Replacing Lacey Savage. Five on the floor for the Lady Demons. Nautica Grant, Gabby Bell. Jocelyn Scott, 
Victoria Miller and Jasmine Johnson. Lady Demons pressuring here. UCA breaks the press. They drive left baseline Fisher. She puts it up too strong. Rebound pulled down, and the Lady Demons turn it over on the outlet pass, and it's an easy lay-in for Taylor Baudouin. 17-9 in favor of UCA. That was simply an easy rebound. I believe it was Miller who had it, was trying to just flip it out to Bell and just threw it to no one in particular. Baudouin was standing right there. She picked it up and laid it up and in. We're going to have an offensive foul called against Jasmine Johnson on the complete opposite side of the basketball. Johnson running the elbow on Camry Orr up around her, uh, her neck and head. So now the Lady Demons already shorthanded due to only having nine players. They bring Jada Freeman back in. Now they have a couple in foul trouble. Jasmine Johnson, Leah Barnes, Tia Youngblood all with two fouls already. Fisher flips it to Orr, right side. She pulls it back out to the wing. Skips it around to Fisher into the left corner. Taylor sells, skip pass right corner. Pump fake by Orr, gives it out to Baudouin, fires it inside, turnaround jumper is good for Kiara Jordan. That's 19 to nine now. Lady Demons have been outscored six to nothing here in the second quarter. NSU is 0 for 2 in the second quarter, just 3 of 10 for the ball game. Nautica Grant long to Jada Freeman. Freeman, left side Gabby Bell. Bell with 8 to shoot. Top of the key, Jada Freeman. Freeman will drive with the right hand, floats it up, no good, but she's fouled, and that'll be two free throws. Foul called on Elaney Fisher. That is her first. So, so far in the second quarter, UCA is three of seven from the field. The Lady Demons are 0 for two. Lady Demons have no assists and three turnovers here in the second quarter. Eight turnovers for the ball game. First free throw on the way is no good. Lady Demons are now four for eight from the charity stripe. They have... Uh, more field free throws made than field goals made at this point. Central Arkansas has the exact same number. Six free throws, six field goals. Boy, Boyich will come back into the ball game for UCA. Second free throw also no good. Lady Demons four for nine from the stripe. Want to pressure a little bit full court here. Taylor Sells will just walk it up, get past the trap, into the corner. Boyich back to Sells. Sells, pull it back out. Sandra Rushing screaming for her to reverse the ball. Gets it into the corner. Up top, Boyage, left wing, or Now will take the three, misses it. Rebound knocked out of bounds by UCA's Kiara Jordan. And it will belong to the Lady Demons. 19-9 the lead for the Sugar Bears. This game being played at their pace. They lead the Southland in points per game allowed their second in the country and we're going to get a foul called on taylor sells putting two hands on gabby bell this sugar bear team gives up just 48 points a game that is second least second fewest in the country they also lead the southland in field goal percentage and field goal percentage defense they shoot it at 44 percent they give up just 36%. Gabby Bell out long. Left wing in the hands of Jocelyn Scott. Into the corner, Jada Freeman. Give me Freeman works with the left hand. Puts it down on the baseline. That's Victoria Miller. Nice turnaround. Almost a dream shake style move. As Victoria Miller turned and did a beautiful little shake into the middle and then spun baseline to lay that one up and in. Timeout, Sandra Rushing. Take a full break, full timeout. Come back with more after this. Your Lady Demons show 1911. You're listening to the Demons Sports Network. PM. Call 357-4268 or visit NSUDemons.com to get your tickets today.
This Demon Sports Network broadcast is brought to you by State Farm agents Buddy Wood, Jim Pledger, Glenn Talbert, Mike Murphy, Linda Luck, Tommy Chester, Trey Murray, Mickey Walker, and Julie Henderson. Lady Demons down 19-11 after the uh, great move inside by Victoria Miller. Miller, the sophomore from Hebron High School in Carrollton, Texas. I uh, go by Hebron High School quite a bit. My sister lives in Carrollton. Not that anybody really cares, but my sister lives in Carrollton, so I get to visit up there. Go by Hebron a good, a good bet. Sugar Bears with the basketball. Taylor Sell slips it back out. Now they get it up top to McKaylin Hicks. Hicks will drive the right side, spins back to her left, puts up a tough shot, no good. Rebound tip, then ripped away as Gabby Bell comes away with it. Ball is loose, picked up by the Lady Demons. Jada Freeman has it. Freeman flips it back out right wing. Gabby Bell will penetrate. Now pull it back out. In the hands of Jocelyn Scott, left wing. Jada Freeman inside Victoria Miller. Miller's working back to the basket. Spins with the right hand, back to the left. That shot no good from about the left elbow. Rebound pulled down by Sells. She'll look to push. Taylor Sells into the front court, skips it right wing. Boyich for three, good. Second three made by Anto Antonia Boyich. Gives UCA an 11 point lead, 22-11 with 4.37 left to go in the second quarter. Victoria Miller, handoff Gabby Bell. Bell working right wing to Nautica Grant. Grant drives with the left hand, takes it all the way in, puts it up, good, but they're gonna call a charge. So Nautica Grant got the bucket to fall, but unfortunately she was hit with the charge as she went right into the body of Kiara Jordan. And Jordan was set outside the restricted area and drew that charge. Jordan looks like she maybe took the worst of that, but Jordan, a uh, big body in the post for UCA. Taylor Sells will bring it up for the Sugar Bears. The Sugar Bears 7-2 in Southland Conference play. That's currently third in the league. Give you the league standings here in just a bit. Baudouin, right wing in the hands of McKaylin Hicks. Skip pass left wing to Boyich, who just knocked down the three. Into the corner for Baudouin, eight to shoot. Gets it right elbow, drive from there with the right hand scoop, no good, but a foul is called on the Angel Williams drive. Foul is called on Jocelyn Scott. So right now, Stephen F. Austin is the leader in the Southland Conference on the women's side. They have a half game lead over Lamar. SFA is 7-0, Lamar is 7-1. This UCA squad is a game back at 7-2, tied with Abilene Christian. Then UNO at six and three, and then it's a full game back from there. Lady Demons, meanwhile, are tied for last in the league with Sam Houston at one and seven. Both free throws are good for Angel Williams. Makes it 24-11. Drive from the left side, Jocelyn Scott. She pulls in the left baseline and gets fouled by Taylor Bodwan. Sugar Bears have outscored the Lady Demons 11-2 to start this second quarter. Lady Demons played close. They were down 13-9 after one, but the second quarter has not been kind. First free throw is no good. Lady Demons also not helping themselves from the charity stripe. NSU is 0 for 4. Excuse me, 0 for 3 from the free throw line here in the second quarter alone. One of two goes down for Jocelyn Scott, her first point of the ball game. That ends an 11 to 2 run by UCA to open this second quarter. Now they don't do things quickly at UCA. It's a very deliberate pace. They get it into Baudouin, works back to the basket, and that's going to be an offensive foul on her. Oh, excuse me, it wasn't Baudouin, it was McKaylin Hicks who got it inside, and that is her third. So Kiara Jordan will check in, and Hicks just a little over aggressive as she was backing down in the low block, sort of threw both of her shoulders backward. Kind of lowered the shoulder a bit. Three and a half left to go before halftime, 24-12. The lead for UCA. Nautica Grant has it left wing, puts it up top. 
Victoria Miller. Miller will drive to the elbow and give off to Jocelyn Scott. Left corner back to Miller. Pump takes the three back to Scott. Scott goes behind the back, drives in, got a contact, and she's fouled. Two shots coming. Foul called on Taylor Baudouin, and the leading scorer for UCA picks up her second. Baudouin has six in this first half. Camry Orr has eight, and uh, Antonia Boisich also has six. So basically, 20 of the 24 UCA points have come from three players. First free throw is good for Jocelyn Scott. Meanwhile, if you uh, get a chance, I don't often encourage you to come out and watch opposing players, but in the men's game, if you don't, if you if you like good basketball, you need to come watch Jordan Howard. That kid is absolutely incredible, coming off of a 43-point performance as UCA turns it over on the lob attempt inside. Jordan Howard coming off a 43-point performance against SFA. He is an absolute thrill to watch. He is the active career scoring leader with over 2,000 points in the country, by the way. Into the front court, Gabby Bell dribbling out long, 250 remaining. Oh, the defender lost a shoe. Literally, Bell shook her out of her shoe. Drive to the right baseline, Barnes. She'll pull the 15-footer, good. And we're gonna get a stoppage of play for a little shoe repair for Camry Orr, and Gabby Bell literally shook her out of her shoe. Good bucket, though, by Victoria Miller on the jumper right baseline. 24-15, Lady Demons have cut the lead to nine. They've scored the last four in a row. Orr on the right wing, dribbling for UCA. Now flips it inside, Jordan left alone, now skips it all the way to the left corner. Back inside to Baudouin, tough catch, turnaround flip is good from the left baseline for Taylor Baudouin. She's got eight, makes it 26-15. All at the top, Victoria Miller, Miller dribbles, now gives to Grant, wide open for three as her defender fell down and Grant knocks it down. Well, UCA's been doing a really nice job on Nautica Grant, not letting her get loose, but that time her defender just fell down. And so that was an easy assist from Miller to Grant to knock down the three to cut the lead to eight. 26-18, they want to get it inside to Bowdoin. It's just taken away by Barnes. Great play by Leah Barnes on the entry pass. They get into the right corner. Long two on the way is short. Rebound knocked out in the hands of Gabby Bell. Bell chased out to half court. Now she'll bring it into the front court, left baseline. Drive from the left side, shot is up and good, and the foul! Victoria Miller with the beautiful drive. Foul is called on Taylor Bodwin, and that's her third. So Victoria Miller with the beautiful drive and score with a minute 31 left. And in the immortal words of Tony Taglavore, I wish my car drove that well. Hope you're listening, Tony T. That was for you. So Victoria Miller goes to the free throw line to shoot one to try to complete the three-point play. And it does, rattles out, no good. Lady Demons are on a nine to two run right now. They've cut the lead to six after being down as much as 13. Lob inside to Baudouin, she catches mid post, back out to Boyich. Boyich, or Boyzich rather, excuse me, gives out to Taylor Sells. Sells dribbles to the right wing. Looking inside, can't get it. Lady Demons have stayed pretty much man-to-man -man the whole time. Left corner, three on the way from there. Rattles out, no good. Rebound, knocked out of bounds. Boy, a lot of contact underneath as Victoria Miller grabbed that rebound and she was being hit by Kiara Jordan from behind. And so UCA will get a fresh 30 and get to inbound from the right baseline. Trying to get it inside and can't. They get it to Boise. She fires a three. It's an air ball. And we're going to have an over-the-back foul. And if that's on Baudouin, that's her fourth. It is not. It is on Elaney Fisher. That's her second. So Baudouin playing with three fouls. Still in the ball game. And that was nearly her fourth. But to the free throw line on the other end, thanks to the over-the-back foul, is Jada Freeman, the freshman from... Irving, Texas, coming off of a seven-point performance at UNO. First free throw, front iron, backboard, front iron, and in for Freeman. 
Lady Demons have outscored the Sugar Bears 10 to 2 to respond to UCA's 11 to 2 run. They've cut the lead to five. Second free throw, rattles around and falls again. Two for Jada Freeman. Lady Demons in the midst of an 11 to 2 run to answer UCA's 11 to 2 run. Back to a four point lead, 26 22. Ball out long, Boisich. Feeds it left wing, looking inside. They get it inside, double teamed immediately as Kiara Jordan. Oh, beautiful pass. Wrap around to the cutting Taylor Bodwin. That was, I'm not going to lie, that was impressive. She was being double teamed and found a way to wrap around that pass to the cutting Bodwin. Got to give credit where credit's due. That was great. Nautica Grant, right wing. She's going to step back, have her three blocked. And the rebound pulled down by UCA. Taylor sells into the front court. Feeds it to Kiara Jordan, and that ball kicked. No shot clock, so can't reset. 13.2 seconds left to go. UCA will ostensibly have the last shot here. They get it into Kiara Jordan. Jordan all the way back out to Sells with nine. Sells at the top, dribbling. Feeds it left wing, all the way to the corner for Bodwan with five. She'll pull the 15-footer. Good with two seconds left on the clock. Lady Demons will not get a shot off, and UCA scores the last four points. And to the Lady Demons, it hit an 11-2 run to answer the UCA 11-2 run. The Sugar Bears score the last four points of the half and will take an eight-point lead into halftime. We're set for the third quarter of action here at Prather Coliseum, the Lady Demons and the Sugar Bears, as UCA will have the basketball first, now moving right to left or south to north here at Prather Coliseum. And uh, we are set to go. UCA with the ball in the hands of Taylor Sells, along with Antonia Boisich. Get it left wing. That's Maddie Goodner into the corner for Boisich. Left elbow, and that's a foul on the trip by Cam Camry Orr. Foul called on Jasmine Johnson is her third as Orr sort of tripped and stumbled kind of over the foot of Johnson, Johnson and now Johnson having picked up her third will have to check out. Jocelyn Scott will replace her. Lady Demons five on the floor. Gabby Bell along with Jada Freeman. Now Jocelyn Scott, Leah Barnes and Victoria Miller and the ball knocked away on the baseline. 13 seconds gone by. Lady Demons trail 30 to 22. They lob it out long. Taylor sells, looking inside. They get it right wing, still trying to find a way to get inside the Kiara Jordan. They go inside, now left corner to sell. She'll drive left baseline, skip it all the way to the right corner. Boisich for three, no good. Long rebound, Maddie Goodner tracks it down. Puts it back out to Sells. Sells will set up the offense. Sandra Rushing not pleased with what's happening right this second. Sells picks up her dribble, gives to Kiara Jordan at the free throw line. She'll take that jumper, no good. Offensive rebound, Boisich inside and throws it back out. She looked like she had a chance to just turn around and put it in, and she threw it all the way back out instead. 20 to shoot now for the Sugar Bears. Camry Orr into the left corner for Boisich. Back out to Orr. Pump fakes, now drives, goes behind the back. She gets the defender off the ground, and Victoria Miller will be called for the foul. And Miller will pick up her first, and that'll be two free throws. That was a good move in the lane by Camry Orr. Orr hesitated and spun. Got Victoria Miller off her feet. This UCA squad has lost two of its last three. Pretty unusual, not a team that's used to losing many games as Orr knocks down the first free throw. She's got nine, makes it 31-22. They're the two-time defending regular season champion and the tournament champion from last year. Pro free throw is good for Orr. And how about this? We'll uh, in the 
after a Southland Conference loss the last couple of years, the Sugar Bears are 5-0 and and win those games by an average of 22 points. They lead by 10 here, 32-22. Mid post, back out, three on the way is good for Jocelyn Scott. She's got five. Jocelyn Scott coming in. That's her 15th made three of the year, shooting 33% from beyond the arc. First three of this ball game. Lady Demons haven't attempted many, just that's this their fifth attempted three of the ball game. On the left wing, ball stolen, then pull, pull, pulled back, and now a three coming the other way. That one's no good. Rebound knocked around, finally will be picked up by Jocelyn Scott for you in NSU, and Scott is fouled at half court by Taylor Sells. Sells will pick up her second personal. The UCA will bring Elaney Fisher in to replace Camry Orr. Orr, second leading scorer, second player in double digits today with 10. Gabby Bell, top of the key. Gives to Victoria Miller. Now the handoff for Jada Freeman. Freeman skip left wing. Jocelyn Scott, who just hit that three. Into the left corner, Leah Barnes. Barnes holds, drives, is fouled. Oh, and then Kiara Jordan kicked the ball back at Barnes. I'm surprised that wasn't a technical, to be honest with you. Jordan picked up her second, and then after the, after the play, she sort of kicked the ball back towards Victoria, back towards Leah Barnes. Barnes will drive in again, get right past Kiara Jordan, but missed the lay-in on the opposite side. Into the front court. Fisher, left corner, Boisich. Back to Sells around right wing. Fisher will drive in, cut off. Back out to Goodner. Into the left baseline. 17 footer from there. Back iron, no good. Rebound Gabby Bell and Taylor Sells. Fouls are on the rebound. That's Sells third personal. Lady Demons trail by seven. 32-25 with 7-19 left to go and Sandra rushing with some words for Kiara Jordan after she is brought out of the ball game and Taylor Baudouin is back in Baudouin leads all scores with 12 Ball on the left side drive from there foul in the bucket for Jocelyn Scott left side drive right down the left part of the lane Elaney Fisher picks up her third Jocelyn Scott has all five points for the Lady Demons so far in the in the third quarter. And NSU has cut the lead to five. They've scored the last five in a row, all off the hand of Jocelyn Scott. She goes to the line to try to complete the three-point play and does. Eight to lead the way for the Lady Demons for Jocelyn Scott. Lady Demons have cut the lead to four with seven minutes left to go in this one. Ball at the top, Baudouin gives it right wing. That's Maddie Goodner, drives, pulls it back out. Boisich for three, front iron no good. Rebound knocked out of bounds. It's going to stay UCA basketball. Checking into the ball game is McKaylin Hicks. Hicks will replace Elaney Fisher. Baseline inbound into the right corner for Boisich. Now to Sells, Sells drives, back to Boisich, back up top. Baudouin, oh she walked, didn't get called. Back to Boisich, Boisich will drive, flip it left wing to Goodner, left baseline Sells, and she double dribbled. And Sandra Rushing wants a timeout. She is not pleased with what's going on right now. Her Sugar Bears had a 10 point lead, it's been cut to four. 6.36 left to go. Northwestern State down four. We'll take a break. Come back with more after this. You're listening to the Demons Sports Network. And NSU Demons for a chance to win. We will be watching and we will choose the best selfie at the beginning of the men's game. Must be present to win. So start snapping those selfies.
They've cut the lead to four. They've scored the last six in a row. Lady Demons have hit two of four from the field here in the second, in the third quarter, in addition to one of two from three. Meanwhile, the Sugar Bears have missed all four of their shots here in the third quarter. Lady Demons now shooting 43% from the field. UCA shooting 40% from the field. It'll be NSU basketball down four after the double dribble violation. Lady Demons nine turnovers. UCA has eight. Into the front court, Gabby Bell. Bell flips it right wing. Jocelyn Scott step back, loses it, gets it back. Now flips it back out to Bell. 15 to shoot. Flips it right elbow. Jumper on the way from there is no good from Leah Barnes. Rebound pulled down by the Sugar Bears. Taylor sells into the front court. Works to the top of the key. Trying to find a way to get it into Baudouin inside. Ball in the left corner. They loop it into Baudouin. She's immediately double teamed. Skip pass right side. Three on the way from there is good for Maggie Goodner. Back to a seven point advantage. Goodner's first points of the ball game. Maggie Goodner, Maddie Goodner, her 15th three. She shoots less than 30% from beyond the arc. Jocelyn Scott takes it right down the right side of the lane and blows the layup. I mean, could not have been more open than that and blows it. They loop it inside, but it's taken away. Tapped initially by Jada Freeman, picked up by Jocelyn Scott. Scott into the front court, flips to Gabby Bell. And we're going to have a foul called underneath. And if that's Baudouin, that's her fourth. And it is. And that will immediately bring Kiara Jordan off the bench. So for the Lady Demons, an opportunity to play a few minutes without the leading scorer for UCA on the floor, Taylor Baudouin. Averaging 14 and a half points and nearly seven rebounds per ball game. And the officials are going to come over to the monitor I think they uh, looking for the number of the shooter. They're going to see who should be shooting as this will be a two-shot foul. So they are going to uh, check. I didn't see who it was. I was looking at the ball. That action was all happening away from the basketball. So we wait to see if they determine who it is. All three officials, Darren McClure, John Fletcher, Sarah Fleming, all checking at this one right now. I think they're in agreement. They've got the correct shooter. John Fletcher will call UCA's squad together. This is not an actual media timeout, but both squads taking the opportunity to meet and get things going. This is going to be a two-shot foul, and it will be Leah Barnes who will take the two shots. So Leah Barnes will shoot a pair here. Barnes so far just one for four from the free throw line. She has one point and one assist so far in this game for the junior transfer from North Dakota State College of Science. First free throw, oh, that went all the way down and came out. She is, looks very upset about it. Just turned around, kind of threw her hands up. Teammates coming around to give her encouragement. As that one went all the way down and popped back out. Second one, that one rattles home for her. So Leah Barnes, two points, both at the free throw line, makes it 35-29 Sugar Bears with 5.18 left to go in the third quarter. Out long, Camry Orr, right wing Maddie Goodner, Lady Demons almost in a zone look here. Drive from Orr, flip it left wing, Boisich now in the left corner, McKaylin Hicks, fires it back to Orr, she takes it to the left elbow, pulls the jumper, no good, rebound underneath Gabby Bell. Bell will fire it ahead to Leah Barnes, Barnes taps it around, can't come up with it, and it's picked up by the Sugar Bears, then stolen by Jocelyn Scott who lays it up and in. Someone call 911, there's been a theft. And it was Jocelyn Scott 
I'm just trying to pull all the homages to Tony T I can. They try to go inside, ball's tapped away by Victoria Miller. Lady Demons come up with it, lob ahead to Miller. Miller out of the head of the crowd, lays it up and in. Lady Demons have cut the lead to two. NSU on an 11 to three run to open this third quarter. The lead has been cut to two at 35-33. Ball out long, left wing, Boisich. Dribbling out there, now top of the key for Camry Orr. She'll drive right side. You're going to get a hand check violation. That's just the third foul against the Lady Demons. Jada Freeman will pick up her first. And we have our under five media timeout. Four minutes exactly left to go. The Lady Demons in the midst of an 11 to three run. Since the Sugar Bears took their 13 point lead in the second quarter, I'll tell you what, I'll give you that stat when we come back. Pretty good one. Four minutes left, Lady Demons down two in the third quarter on the Demon Sports Network. We will announce the winner for the battle for the paddle, Chili Cookoff, at the halftime of the men's game, along with a special performance by our Purple Pizzazz Pom Pom Line. by State Farm agents Buddy Wood, Jim Fletcher, Lynn Talbert, Mike Murphy, Linda Luck, Tommy Chester, Trey Murray, Mickey Walker, and Julie Henderson. Four minutes exactly left to go, and the Lady Demons have cut this lead down to two. When UCA had a 13-point lead at 24-11 in the second quarter off an 11-2 run. Since then, the Lady Demons have outscored UCA 22-11 until that Taylor Bodwin bucket. Bodwin back in with four fouls, but UCA sort of lost without her right now. She picks that bucket up off the inbounds, and it's now 37-33. Lob inside to Leah Miller. Miller will, excuse me, Victoria Miller. She'll turn around, miss the shot. Ball goes out of bounds, but it will be a foul called on the rebound against the Lady Demons. Foul is called on Jada Freeman. That's her second. So Sandra rushing, rolling the dice a bit, bringing back her top player, Taylor Bodwan, with four fouls and four minutes left to go in the third quarter. And she immediately pays dividends, getting open on the inbound. Knocks it off the window. Now she'll take a three from the right corner. Misses it front iron. Rebound pulled down by Jada Freeman. Freeman looks to run. Freeman up the right side. Takes it right down the lane. Scoops it. Good! And the foul! And Jada Freeman is all kinds of fired up. Foul called on Taylor Bodwin, and they have fouled her out. With 3.20 left to go in the third quarter, the leading score for UCA will leave this game. So Taylor Bodwin with 14 points, three rebounds, two assists, and now five fouls and is gone. Jada Freeman with four points, completes the three-point play, and we're going to have a foul underneath as well against UCA, I think. They're going to run that back. But I think they counted the free throw. We're going to, the scoreboard shows they counted the free throw. So the free throw counted for Jada Freeman. She's now got five. The lead has been cut to one. 
The Lady Demons had outscored the Sugar Bears 14 to seven here in the third quarter, and they are currently in the midst of a 14 to five run. And now we had, I believe, a foul underneath after the free throw on the rebound as everyone was sort of piling into the lane. I believe we had a foul on there. And the officials, Darren McClure and John Fletcher, are over at the monitor checking it out right now. The Lady Demons have cut the lead to one at 37-36 with 3.20 left to go. But the big, big news is Taylor Bodwan has fouled out of this game for UCA, the leading scorer for the Sugar Bears, averaging 14 and a half points and seven rebounds a game. She had 14 points and has fouled out. Sandra Rushing rolled the dice with four minutes left to go in the third quarter and put Taylor Bodwan back in the ball game. She immediately hit a bucket on the inbound but then took a, an ill-advised three and then on the ensuing rebound and drive, Jada Freeman went right at Bodwin and fouled her out. Jordan Dupuis and Sandra Rushing are being called to half court. They're going to chat. Darren McClure, our lead official, is talking to Rushing and Dupuis. Rushing doesn't look happy. Dupuy is getting the indication. So now we're. So now there's going to be a foul call on McKaylin Hicks. So Hicks will pick up her fourth. So McKaylin Hicks will pick up her fourth. And that will necessitate a trip to the bench for Tyranny Paler who will play in her first action. 5'10", redshirt sophomore from Memphis, Tennessee out of Ridgeway High School. So Leah Barnes, who was fouled by McKaylin Hicks, will go to the line to shoot two here. As that was, I think that was actually team foul number six of the third quarter. First free throw is good and we are tied. Lady Demons down 13 in the second quarter have come all the way back to tie this one at 37 apiece. The Lady Demons are on a 15 to five run right now to tie it up after UCA scored the first two points of the third quarter to push the lead back to 10. And the Lady Demons retake the lead, 38-37 on a pair of free throws by Leah Barnes. She's got four. Lady Demons lead 38-37 with 3.14 left to go in the third quarter, and Taylor Bodelon, the top player for UCA, has fouled out in the third quarter. On the left corner, Maddie Goodner. Goodner puts it back up top. Taylor sells, works with the left hand, takes it down the lane. Wild scoop shot is no good, but she's fouled. As Sandra Rushing chatting with Sarah Fleming, Foul called on Leah Barnes is her third. So that will send Taylor Sells, the point guard, to the free throw line to shoot two. First free throw is no good. Yeah, I was I was mentioning that. There's actually been seven fouls called on UCA, but once you get past five, it's the double bonus, just like they do in the men's side with 10. There's no sense continuing to count after that. One of two free throws goes for Taylor Sells, and it's tied at 38 with 2.50 left to go in the third quarter. Great ball game so far. Ball on the right wing. Up top, Victoria Miller, left wing. Jada Freeman down on the block. Leah Barnes back up top. Jocelyn Scott for three, misses it left side. Long rebound in the corner and knocked out of bounds off of UCA. Great job by Jada Freeman. She sold out, knocked it off of Antonia Boisich and actually went flying into the expensive chairs on the far side. She didn't pay for him though. Lady Demons with a fresh 30. Ball in the left corner, Victoria Miller. She'll dribble all the way to the left wing, loop all the way to the free throw line, pull that one too strong. 
Rebound pulled down by Taylor Sells. Sells will race into the front court. Flip it back out to Boisich. Back to Sells. Back to Boisich. She'll hand off Sells. Out long. Game tied at 38 with 2.10 left to go in the third quarter. Ball on the right wing. Maddie Goodner drives, pulls it back. Now flips it left wing to Sells. Left corner. Oops it inside. Double team there. Ball is loose. Picked up by Gabby Bell. Demons get the strip. Bell ahead, left side Jocelyn Scott, skip pass right wing. Jada Freeman, she fires a three, it's good! Long two, long two for Jada Freeman. Makes it a 40 to 38 ball game, Freeman with the long two. She was on the line. Lady Demons with their matching their biggest lead of the ball game when they led two to nothing. Last time they led was two to nothing. Ball in the hands of Kiara Jordan. Jordan backing in, spins. That's going to be a blocking foul called and two free throws. Foul called on Leah Barnes. Picks up her fourth. Pretty weak call there. Barnes was sort of bodying Kiara Jordan up at about the mid post. Jordan ducked the shoulder and went kind of around her. Barnes took the dive. Probably a no call at best there. There was really a no harm, no foul on that one. There was no advantage gained. So Kiara Jordan goes to the free throw line to shoot a pair. First one rims out, no good. Hannah Lange will check in, replacing Tyranny Paler. And Tia Youngblood will come in for the Lady Demons. Leah Barnes has to sit with four fouls. Youngblood's had two points, one rebound. Lady Demons are getting vastly out-rebounded in this game. But they have hit 50% from the field here in this third quarter, and they have forced five turnovers in the quarter alone. Second free throw, back iron, high off the glass and no good, and the Lady Demons just lose the rebound out of bounds. Two, Jada Freeman and Victoria Miller were fighting over it underneath and just lost it out of bounds off Freeman. Fresh 30 for the Sugar Bears from the right baseline. Just an unfortunate break there for NSU. Sells gets it in the corner up top to Lange. Now to the right wing, Camry Orr. Orr will drive with the left hand. Lady Demons in a zone look now. 1-3-1 style. Orr will penetrate left corner. Back out to Orr, 14 to shoot. Orr into the corner, three on the way. That one is no good front iron, but a long rebound collected by UCA, Sells flips it left wing, another three on the way, that one is good. Boyich, uh, Boyzich missed the first one, made the second one. And UCA retakes the lead 41-40, Boyzich with three threes in this ball game. They get it right wing, Tia Youngblood. Youngblood, top of the key, Victoria Miller, left wing, Gabby Bell. Bell holds, flips it to Jada Freeman at the top, Freeman. Skips it right wing, that's Jocelyn Scott into the right corner for Nick Miller. Eight to shoot, Miller works off the screen from Scott. Flips it back to Bell, Bell has it poked away. Saved inbounds by Scott, she's got to fire a wild three and buries it! With two on the shot clock, Jocelyn Scott gives the Lady Demons a 43-41 lead. Drive down the left side, shot is blocked by Tia Youngblood. Rebound, pulled down by Jada Freeman. She tries to fire it up against the clock, but it's no good. And the Lady Demons take the lead into the fourth, 43-41. Jocelyn Scott, they're gonna double check and make sure that was a three, but it sure looked like it. From the corner, Jocelyn Scott knocked down the triple. We'll take a break, come back with your fourth quarter of action, Northwestern State. Up by two on UCA, you're listening to the Demon Sports Network.
We are back at halftime. Northwestern State leading 42-41. They actually went back and changed Jocelyn Scott's three to a two. No balls. No balls. Now some confusion because the three made it 43-41. But then they went back and changed it to a two, right? They switched it from a three to a two. So it should be 42-41. All right. Well, as long as the book says it's 43-41, that's the score. In the end, that's all that matters. So the Lady Demons have the basketball. Jocelyn Scott, ooh, travel, didn't get called. Gives it out long to Jada Freeman. Freeman pulls it back out. Freeman working off the screen to the right wing. Now in the hands of Gabby Bell. Bell in the baseline, Tia Youngblood turns inside, misses the short jumper. A good look from Tia Youngblood, just couldn't quite get it to fall. Back the other way. Left wing Camry Orr. Taylor sells back to Orr. Lady Demons are fronting the post inside. Drive by Orr, skip it back out. Boisich for another three, and she buries another three. Boisich has 12. Makes it 44-43 with 9.05 left to go in the ball game. Gabby Bell brings into the front corner. Right corner now. Jocelyn Scott, Tia Youngblood, left wing Jada Freeman. 13 to shoot. Freeman up top to Scott. Scott into traffic, puts it inside to Youngblood, and a charge is going to be called on Jocelyn Scott, taken by Kiara Jordan. Scott will pick up her second personal. Game has had three ties and now five lead changes. As the Lady Demons lead it here. Jocelyn Scott, the only player in double digits for the Lady Demons with 13. Ball on the right wing, Boisich has hit a couple of threes here in the second half. Feeds it mid post, Kiara Jordan. Jordan drives in, skips it left baseline to Sells. Back out to Orr. Pump fakes, Orr drives, back to Sells. She'll fire a left corner three, rattles in and out, no good. Gabby Bell with a great seal and rebound, and then she's fouled by Kiara Jordan. Jordan picked up her third. First foul on UCA here in the fourth quarter. 8-19 left. Lady Demons trail by a point, 44-43. Well, I thought they initially had changed Jocelyn Scott's three to a two, but they kept it a three. Which leaves her with 13 points. Into the front court, Gabby Bell dribbles to the right wing and gives to Jocelyn Scott. Scott up top, Victoria Miller. Miller wants to hand off to Bell and can't. Now Trapp gives it over left side, Tia Youngblood back out. Jada Freeman, Freeman off the screen from Youngblood. Dribbles left baseline into traffic. Tough shot, no good off the side of the backboard. Gets her own rebound with eight. Gabby Bell for three, front iron, no good. Rebound at the free throw line, pulled down by Antonia Boisich. Hands to Camry Orr, Orr into the front court, left-hand side. UCA, a very deliberate offensive squad. They want to work it inside as much as possible. To get it left elbow, Kiara Jordan. She drives in against Tia Youngblood and draws the foul on Youngblood. Foul on Youngblood will be her third. So that'll be free throws for Kiara Jordan. Jordan and McKaylin Hicks, really the last two bigs left for UCA right now. Jordan at 6-1, the senior from Jackson, Mississippi. First free throw is no good. She has not helped her cause at the free throw line. She is 0 for 3 from the free throw line. Sugar Bears as a whole are 11 of 17 from the free throw line. That one is good. Kiara Jordan has three points and seven rebounds. 45-43. Lady Demons trail with 7.25 remaining. Right elbow, Victoria Miller, lob inside into a double team. And it's picked off by Kiara Jordan. Into the front court, Taylor sells as Sandra Rushing was screaming at Darren McClurg about calling three seconds. Out long, or right wing to Sells, right baseline, Hicks. Wants to go inside and can't, skips it to Boisich, left corner. Or pump fakes, drives, cut off, spins, fades away, and that one's an air ball. Rebound knocked out of bounds by UCA. It'll belong to 
NSU with 6.56 left to go. Northwestern State down two with the basketball. Gabby Bell will bring it into the front court momentarily. Guarded by Taylor Sells man-to-man. -man. Bell dribbling out long, works to the right wing. Feeds it up top, Victoria Miller. Miller, right wing, Jada Freeman. Freeman will penetrate, now pull it back at the top. Loops it all the way to the left elbow. Tough catch for Tia Youngblood. She goes inside, it's knocked away. Was trying to hit Miller and turned it over. Here comes Orr the other way. Orr has it stripped away. Goes off of NSU and out of bounds. Lady Demons thought it went off the knee of Camry Orr. And Jordan Dupuy wants a timeout. So that'll replace our fourth quarter media timeout. 6.28 left to go. Northwestern State down by two, 45-43. We'll take a timeout, come back with more after this. You're listening to the Demon Sports Network. United at Columbus Hall near St. Mary's. Tickets are $25, which includes food and drinks with access to live and silent auctions. Come out and support your Lady Demon softball team. for the Lady Demons. They outscored UCA 21-11 and shot 54% from the field in the third quarter, holding UCA to just 25%. That's allowed the Lady Demon, that allowed the Lady Demons to take the lead after the third quarter, 43-41. UCA will inbound into the right corner, 24 to shoot. Camry Orr holds, they want to get it inside. Lady Demons are pretty much double teaming all of the post players. Orr dribbles through, sells to the free throw line, back to Orr, wide open for three. Front iron, no good. Offensive rebound inside and a bucket for Kiara Jordan as bodies just fall off of Kiara Jordan as she collected that rebound. Jordan is a mountain inside for UCA. Nautica Grant off a of screen, feeds it back on the left elbow, drive from there by Victoria Miller. Pull up is good from seven. Victoria Miller's in double digits. She's got 10, 47, 45. By the way, the three they were looking at, I thought it was the end of the, the shot clock three by Jocelyn Scott. It was actually a three from earlier that was ruled a two, and they said it was indeed a two, so didn't change the score there. Ball out long, Taylor Sells looking inside. Ball almost stripped away by Jocelyn Scott. Sells gets it, throws it in the corner. Drive from there by Orr. She goes past the defender, misses the shot. Rebound pulled down by Victoria Miller into the hands of Gabby Bell. Bell into the front court. Lady Demons down two with the basketball. Ball on the right wing, Nautica Grant. Grant works off a screen, works to the free throw line, takes it in, and she traveled with it. That is the first turnover Actually, it's the fourth turnover of the quarter. I was going to say it was, they only had one turnover in the third quarter. That already the fourth turnover here in the fourth quarter. Lady Demons down two on defense, 5.05 left. Jordan Dupuy and I talked about the difference in, want, in hoping to win, wanting to win, and knowing you're going to win or expecting to win. This is where UCA typically expects to win. Lady Demons are hoping to win. Drive inside, and that's going to be a blocking foul underneath as Kiara Jordan just rolled around and fell on top of Victoria Miller. Miller will pick up her second personal. And so that will send 
Kiara Jordan to the free throw line. Jordan, a bit of a matchup nightmare just based on her size. She is 6'1", but very strong and thick. And certainly that makes her a difficult matchup for anyone underneath. And Jordan with Taylor Bodwine being fouled out with three and a half minutes left to go in the third quarter. Going to be all on Kiara Jordan. She knocks down her first free throw. Makes it 48-45 as Leah Barnes will check back in, replacing Victoria Miller. Barnes playing with four fouls. Second free throw on the way. Back iron, no good. Leah Barnes will collect the rebound. Gabby Bell will bring it into the front court. Lady Demons down three with the basketball. Hand off, Jada Freeman. Freeman circles to the top. Gives to Nautica Grant, left wing. Grant's been pretty quiet tonight. Just one made three so far. Top of the key, Jocelyn Scott. She'll drive against Jordan. She goes up, left-hand scoop, no good. Rebound, knocked around, picked up on the floor again. Sandra Rushing screaming for a foul. And a jump ball will eventually be called possession. We'll go back to UCA. Sandra Rushing looking over at Sarah Fleming saying over the back and then Darren McClure over the back. Need to call that. Lady Demons need a stop here with 4.20 left to go. And the Lady Demons trailing 48-45. Screen. Lady Demons are switching just about everything right now. They skip it all the way to the right wing. Boisic, she holding there, now hands off. Drive by Orr, slips it on the baseline to no one in particular between two defenders, and it comes out to Sandra Rushing. Only problem is she does not have eligibility left and is standing out of bounds for that matter. So the Lady Demons will get the turnover and get the ball back, down three. With the basketball, 3.53 left. We're on the left wing, Jocelyn Scott, she's had 13 to lead the way. Gives it up top, Leah Barnes. Barnes gives it back to Bell, 12 to shoot. Bell works to the top of the key. Looking for a screener, now gives it right wing. Drive from there by Jada Freeman. Puts it across the lane, layup, good! And the foul for Leah Barnes. Foul called on McKaylin Hicks, and she has fouled out. So two post players for UCA have fouled out their leading scorer, Taylor Bodwin, and now McKaylin Hicks. Hicks had uh, two rebounds, no points, two steals, three turnovers, and now five fouls. And so UCA is going to go very small. They're going to go basically four around one with Kiara Jordan working inside. Everyone else is much smaller. The three-point play is good for Leah Barnes. She's got seven. We're tied back up at 48, and Jordan Dupuy calls time. 3.35 left. We'll take a 30-second break, 30 seconds, and back with more on the Demon Sports Network. Two assists, played just 17 minutes and fouled out midway or a little past midway in the third quarter. Lady Demons are going to provide a little token pressure here. And now everyone will back off. Taylor Sells will bring it into the front court. Ball at the top. Kiara Jordan, the last post left. Jordan will back down. Spin inside. Right hand scoop is good. Kiara Jordan got eight. 50 to 48. Jordan is the last post left for UCA. 
Don't forget Demons and Bears coming your way. The high scoring Bears squad. And that's going to be an illegal screen call on Leah Barnes and that's going to foul her out. So Leah Barnes evening is done just after she collected that three point play to give her seven on the ball game. Barnes will have to leave, replaced by Victoria Miller. Keep in mind the Lady Demons, who played most of the season without Cheyenne Brown. She picked up, uh, played six games and then was injured. So she has missed now her 14th in a row. But they've also are playing today's game without Libba Gillum, who's the third leading scorer coming in. Libba Gillum out with a concussion. So, Lady Demons on defense. Orr will drive, flip it with the layup. Good, Camry Orr has got 12. Makes it 52-48 with 2.47 remaining. Gabby Bell has it stripped from behind by Taylor Sells. And she was driving the right side of the lane. Lady Demons will inbound from the right baseline. Down four here with 2.45 remaining. Lady Demons get it in. Right elbow pull up is back iron no good for Jasmine Johnson. And the rebound to the Sugar Bears with 2.35 remaining. Lady Demons have already scored just at what UCA allows per ball game. They give up nearly 49 points a game. That's second fewest in the country. And that's what the Lady Demons are at right now. Or works with the left hand. All the way back out to the top, dribbling. Now turns with the left hand, takes it in the lane, layup up and no good. It rimmed out, offensive rebound underneath. Put back is no good, a lot of body contact, no call. But UCA collects another rebound with 2.05 left. Sugar Bears lead by four and they've got the ball to run 17 more seconds off. Kiara Jordan's gonna drive with a full head of steam. That's gonna be a blocking foul on Victoria Miller and the fans are incensed at that one as Miller will pick up her third foul, and that will send Kiara Jordan to the free throw line to shoot a pair. Well, Jordan has somewhat taken over this game. Here in the fourth quarter with Taylor Baudouin, the normal top player and I don't know why they thought there was a timeout. Uh, Sandra Rushing had called her entire team over to chat things over while Kiara Jordan goes to the free throw line. Sandra Rushing is inside the coach's box so nothing illegal going on. First free throw is good for Kiara Jordan. She's got nine. Back to a five point lead for UCA. After the Lady Demons had tied it at 48 with 3.35 left to go. Lady Demons have hit just two of seven here in the fourth quarter. Both free throws are good for Kiara Jordan. She's in double digits now with 10. 54 48. Gabby Bell brings into the front court. That's going to be a blocking foul. Just the third foul of the quarter as Taylor Sells will pick up her fourth. Scores from around the Southland Conference. UNO blasts Incarnate Word 72-45. While McNeese and Lamar, a relative tight one, 37-30 Lamar at halftime. Lady Demons get the ball into Gabby Bell. Bell will drive the right side, flip it in the right corner. Three on the way, need it? No, it doesn't go down, but then we're gonna have an over the back violation against NSU. Jasmine Johnson had that three rattle all the way in and come out. And Jocelyn Scott gets called for her third foul. So to the other end and free throws for UCA's Maddie Goodner. Now Jasmine Johnson had a good look, went all the way down, rattled out, rattled in and out. First free throw is good for Goodner. Got four points. She's hit a three and now some free throws. And UCA has outscored the Lady Demons seven to nothing. As she misses the second one. Lady Demons have been outscored seven to nothing since they tied it at 48. Minute 40 remaining. Drive on the right side. Jasmine Johnson picks up her dribble. Turns to face. Now is going to get a five-second call. 
So a turnover by the Lady Demons as Jasmine Johnson got down, dribbled, picked up her dribble. No one could get open. And Johnson gets called for the five-second closely guarded violation. Kiara Jordan on her, but it was really the other defenders that made that one happen. NSU will pressure full court here. Grant will get the tip right to Gabby Bell. Bell in traffic. She's fouled. And she'll shoot two. Well, the Lady Demons got what they needed, and they fouled out the point guard for UCA, Taylor Sells. So UCA point guard Taylor Sells has now fouled out. So that will bring in Elaney Fisher. And so now, Camry Orr will be the lone remaining point as Gabby Bell goes to the line to shoot free throws. She has not attempted a free throw yet in this game and misses the first. Lady Demons are 14 of 24 from the free throw line today. Second one from Bell, that one is good. Gabby Bell's got five. 55-49 ends that little 7-0 spurt for UCA. Lady Demons are pressuring full court. Ball in the hands of Fisher, gets it back to Orr. Orr double teamed in the backcourt. Works to the left side, flips it ahead. Fisher, Fisher bounce pass. Now skip pass right side to Maddie Goodner. Back out deep. Lady Demons are going to try to run and trap at everyone. Orr caught on the sideline and a blocking foul will be called. Well, I don't know about that one. Nautica Grant gets called for her second foul. That was pretty, pretty light contact for a uh, foul call as the Lady Demons are getting the trap on the sideline. And uh, Sarah Fleming hits Nautica Grant with the foul. It, it was actually, it happened right in front of us and uh, I didn't see a ton of contact there. And that will send Camry Orr to the free throw line to shoot two. First one on the way is good. Orr's got 13, and UCA going to try to win this one at the free throw line with a minute 11 remaining. Obviously, Lady Demons need UCA to help. But Orr hits both. She's got 14, 57-49, eight-point lead. Jasmine Johnson drives the left side back up top. Jocelyn Scott for three, no good right side. Rebound pulled down by Fisher. She's immediately trapped. Under her own basket, flips it across. Goodner, Goodner will bring it into the front court. Works all the way to the right wing. Now back out long to Fisher. They want a foul, and they'll get the foul finally. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. And uh, Sarah Fleming not liking what Kiara Jordan had to say is Nautica Grant just basically did a, TI, a, a TA pat down there, a TSA pat down on Kiara Jordan before she was finally called for the foul. So Kiara Jordan will go to the line to shoot two. Lady Demons down eight. They've been outscored nine to one since they tied it at 48. Make it 10 to one. UCA closing out this game. That's now got that's now 11 points for Kiara Jordan. Second free throw, no good. Rebound is going to be pulled down by Jasmine Johnson and ball knocked out of bounds by Kiara Jordan. I'm surprised they didn't call a foul on her or a lane violation. Timeout taken by Jordan Dupuy with 47 seconds left to go in this one. The Lady Demons down 58-49. We'll take a 30-second break, 30 seconds, and back with more on the Demons Sports Network. Double-double, 11 points, 10 rebounds for Kiara Jordan. Taylor Bodwin fouled out, 3.30 left to go in the third quarter. Lady Demons had this tied at 48. Jocelyn, uh, excuse me, uh, Jocelyn Scott gives it right wing. Gabby Bell, she'll drive, flip it back out. 
Three on the way is an air ball to the left side. Bell taps it in, but not in bounds, and the Lady Demons turn it over, and UCA takes a timeout to advance the ball. That is one of the rules in women's basketball this year, much like the NBA. You can call a timeout and advance the ball into the front court. So the Lady Demons, who tied this game up at 48 with three and a half minutes left to go, have only scored one point and have not had a bucket go down in three full minutes. Meanwhile, UCA is taking care of business at the free throw line. 80, uh, eight of 12 in the fourth quarter alone from the charity stripe. The Demons have just simply not been able to get anything going offensively after a great third quarter here in the fourth quarter. Six turnovers, and they have shot just two of ten. From the field. So UCA, Maddie Goodner, sophomore from Greenwood, Arkansas, will inbound right in front of us. Lady Demons defending in the front court here. They get it in. Camry Orr. Orr will run away from her defender, then slip and fall down. Gives the ball up to Goodner, and Goodner's fouled out near half court. Foul will be called on Jasmine Johnson. That's her fourth. Oh, sorry, her fifth. I thought it was her fourth. But for Jasmine Johnson, that's her fifth. I only have her with four. And I'm, but yep, stats have her with five as well. So Jasmine Johnson is done. Victoria Miller back in. It appears it will be a valiant effort for Nott for the Lady Demons coming in with just nine dressed out. Had the game tied at 48 with three and a half left, but have been outscored 10 to one since that time, make it 11 to one. And again, UCA has knocked down their free throws. Maddie Goodner now with five. Nine of 13 from the charity stripe in the fourth quarter for UCA. Second free throw, no good. Rebound will be out of bounds, taken in by UCA, and the Lady Demons will have the basketball with 26 seconds left. And Jordan Dupuis is going to take a full break, so so will we. 26 seconds left, Lady Demons down 10. We'll take a break, come back with more after this on the Demon Sports Network. Six seconds left. The Lady Demons will inbound from the front court after calling the timeout to advance the ball. Lady Demons down 10. We'll need a bit of a miracle here to uh, find a way to win this one, but a valiant effort. Had the game tied at 48 with 3.35 left to go. They finally get it in. Nautica Grant, she'll turn, penetrate, flip it over on the left side. Turnaround layup is good for Victoria Miller. Miller now has 12, makes it 59-51. Uh, Jordan Dupuy takes the 30-second timeout. For the Lady Demons, well, it will appear the Lady Demons will drop to 1-8 in Southland Conference play. They have, much like the men's team, struggled with injuries so far this year. By the way, don't forget the chili cook-off is uh, taking place here in momentarily out in the concourse. 
on the east side of Prather Coliseum. A lot of teams out there doing battle for the paddle, the battle for the paddle, chili cook-off. Your opportunity to get out there and sample some free chili. Vote on a winner if you like. They have judges that will be handling the actual official vote, naming a winner of this year's battle for the paddle chili cook-off. And of course, the Demons will be taking on the Bears of Central Arkansas and the leading scorer in the Southland Conference, Jordan Howard, coming off of his 43-point performance. He will be here. Howard has had a uh, quite a, a career against the Demons. He shot over 50% and scored over 25 a game in six games against NSU. Now keep in mind, that was run and gun NSU when those two teams were playing 117-112 style games. Demons are a much more methodically paced team this year, thanks in large part as we're going to have a foul called on Nautica Grant before the inbound. The Demons, due to injury, are forced to be a little slower paced, but we will have a return for the Demons. We'll talk about that in the pregame show with Mike McConaughey. Demons got DeAndre Love, the junior college transfer, on the floor for the first time against UNO, and they will have another player on the floor for the first time in a while. Coming up in game two, we'll talk about that in the pregame of that one. First free throw is good for Camry Orr. 60 to 51 with 21 seconds left. Second free throw, Jordan Dupuis says get a bucket, don't foul. 10 point lead for the Sugar Bears. Right down the lane, lost it, picked it back up in traffic, put up good by Jada Freeman. She's got nine. Lady Demons are going to pressure full court, but no fouls with 13.9 seconds remaining. They get it in the corner. Dribbling it up the right side is Goodman. Uh, Goodner. She'll flip it over. Freeman will be fouled with six seconds left, and Jordan Dupuis looks over at Jada Freeman, said, I said no fouls. So... Elaney Fisher will go to the line and shoot a couple here. Lady Demons down 61-53. The good news is they have beaten the normal season average that the Sugar Bears allow of just 48 points a game, second best in the nation. They have 53. First free throw is missed badly by Fisher with 6.9 seconds remaining. Fisher starts off about four feet behind the line and then steps to the line. She misses that one. Gabby Bell will bring it into the front court with three seconds with two. Bell takes it all the way to the down the lane and misses the lay-in as time expires. Well, that'll do it for this one. Northwestern State falls 61-53.